You know, ever since the situation with the coronavirus, Donald Trump has now been going after China. He's been, you know, very aggressive. You know, we, we saw uh, just last week they had a reporter asking Donald Trump a question. She was Chinese, and he told her, don't ask me, go ask China. You know, and, and she got pissed off about that. Well, China is now calling out the United States at the UN because China says the United States owe $1 billion in arrears payments to the UN. They're not paying any bills. This is what China is saying. And China say it's not right that they have to pay their bills or the United States don't have to pay theirs. So people are coming out, you know, within the U S and saying, Oh, China just using this to try to distract. But the United States actually pays 25% of the UN budget and China only pays 12% of the UN's budget. Now we know that of course, Donald Trump has suspended payments also to the world health organization uh, when he was given what the country 500 million to world health organization and China was only given about 30 million. And yet we've seen the world health organization cover up for the uh, Chinese communist party when it comes to the uh, Corona virus. So China you know, has definitely been putting out propaganda. China has, you know, also, like I said, just trying to ratchet things up at the UN saying the United States aren't paying their bills. Now they say they just made a payment of $726 million actually on that. They say, but they normally pay their stuff at the end of the year. Um, not the really the fiscal year, um, like other people do there from January to December. So they say they're going to pay their bill. They're not really worried about, um, China run off of the mouth, but this is the thing. And why I pay attention to what the Chinese are doing, because I'm really paying attention to their moves in the continent of Africa. And I understand if we don't have Africa or we lose Africa to anybody, we have nothing because at the end of the day, if they was to come up with, and listen, this country can do it, whether you agree with this or not, nothing that we have is permanent in this country as black people. The civil rights bill isn't permanent. The fair housing act isn't permanent. The voting rights act is a permanent, nothing that they ever given us is permanent. It's always temporary. You understand what I'm saying? They can revoke anything. So if they want to come up tomorrow and say, okay, all black people, you know, they revoke citizenship. They all got to go back to the African continent. At least I want to have a place to go. You get what I'm saying? We don't want to go to there and it'd be another shoot off of China. That's why the African people on the continent and the diaspora have to fight against China every step of the way, because they're trying to come there to colonize and not come in there to be no one's friend. You see exactly what the Chinese are doing. And you can't allow that. So yes, I'll pay attention to everything China is doing, uh, even also when it comes to this soil, because they're doing things as we see here in this country to the black communities. Every way they're going, they're doing different things to black folks. So yes, I'm going to speak up and say something about this. But you know, them calling out the United States when you know the United States are paying 25% of the budget. Okay, well, this is what they should do. United States say, well, China, why don't you we go split this 25% up? And then, um, you could take on, uh, you know, the 25% if you want, and then the United States can pay 12%. How about that? A matter of fact, why don't you pay it all? Because it, it's enough the, the whole building and everything is in New York, right? I mean, surely, surely that that could be a good trade off because the United States have been funding the majority of everything. The majority of NATO, they've been funding the majority of, uh, the world health organization or definitely just paying more than the others. So when Trump came in, he said, look, y'all need to pay y'all fair share because it's American tax dollars, right? So I would Trump on that. They need to pay. So China, you know, like I said, you just trying to cover up. I agree. You know, I think both of y'all trying to cover up Trump trying to cover up for the situation with the coronavirus. I get why the Chinese situation, but we all know both of you guys are trying to cover up things that you guys don't want the world to see. But let me know what you think about the Chinese. They're saying United States, you're not paying your bills. You, you in the arrears, you owe a billion dollars. You should be paying a lot more than what, what you're doing, but let me know.